Yo, what's going on, guys, man? I'm going to read y'all two verses. Matthew 5, 16 and 17, and Matthew 5 and 43. It say, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. So, let me ask you a question. Are you being good to your neighbor? Are you being nice to people? I remember I used to go to school, man. High school, man. I ain't never had no J's. I ain't never had no, uh, you know, no, no, you know, no good, like, clothes, you feel me? And people used to be like, oh, I can't talk to him. Oh, I can't mess with him, man. He, he don't got the same. He don't, he ain't got drip, bro. He don't look nice. So I'm not going to talk to him. That's, uh, and you claim you love God, but in the, in the Bible it say, let your light shine before, uh, before others. That could be a poor person. That could be somebody that's rich. You know what I'm saying? You can't let your light shine and then be distant between a white person or be distant between a Mexican person or a black person. It say let your light shine before others. Not before not before a certain group of people. You have to let your sh your shine before others. That means that means white, black, age don't matter. So that they can glorify your father in heaven. Show them your good deeds so they can glorify your father in heaven. That means they probably not even Christian. They probably don't believe like you believe. But by them seeing your good deeds, how you treat this person, how you treat that person, that's how they're going to glorify your father in heaven. So do good while people watching you so that they can glorify your father in heaven. Let me tell you this. But I tell you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. Have you ever been hurt? Boyfriend, girlfriend, anybody. Anybody ever hurt you? And the Bible say, you got to pray for them. You got to pray for your enemies. Oh, this person made me mad at work, man. I'm mad at this dude right here. I'm mad at this cat. It say, love your enemies and pray for them. I'm pretty sure there's teachers out there that you don't like, man. There's teachers out there that... Oh, man, this dude, man, don't even never want to put my grade in. Or, oh, man, this dude always talking crap about me, man. I don't like this teacher. Man, love him and pray for him. Oh, man, this 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 dude don't treat me right, man. I'm, I'm, I'm mad about it, man. I broke up with him, man. Love and pray for him. You know what I'm saying? The thing is, man. We so focused on, oh, how you don't like somebody, man. Me and him, this person, we don't have the same views, man. So I'm not going to pray and love that person. Even if you don't have the same views with somebody, that don't mean you can love and pray for them. Many people see society and be like, oh, we, we live on society. We don't, we don't have the same norms. We don't have the same views. So I'm going to stop talking to that person. That's not what the Bible say do. The Bible say love, love people, love that person, love them and pray for them. So if you don't have the same views as somebody else, that don't mean you can't love him and pray for him. So stop going around saying, oh, this dude don't have the same views as me. Oh, this person black, this person white, this person Asian, this person Mexican. Bro, pray for them. Even if they're your enemies, bro, you got to pray for them, man. That's how it, that's what it say in the Bible, man. So I'm just saying that. So <laughs> y'all take it how y'all take it, I guess. But love y'all, man. Y'all have a good day.